Hi everybody, I'm Steve. Tonight I want to talk about this classic, uh, Creep Show. This was released in 1982. Uh, I was nine years old at the time. Um, this is directed by George Romero and written by Stephen King. Uh, you can see Stephen King's on the cover because he, he's in one of the one of the sketches in the movie. It has like five sketches and it has an intro and an, and an exit. Uh, and actually Stephen King's son, Joe King, was uh, the little boy that's in the, the beginning and the ending of the movie. Um, he's, he's a kind of a popular no novelist now, um, uh, does horror, but, um, this is a release by Warner Brothers and, uh, this is actually the Shop Factory Screen Factory edition and it's a taken, it's a 4K scan taken from the original negative. So you get a really quality image and it's kind of funny how many people uh, that run this movie that are no longer living, uh, sadly, and George Romero's passed away he directed you know Dawn of the Dead and he was uh, kind of famous in the Pittsburgh area he, I think he's from New York originally but he you know started you know Night of Living Dead and in, in, in Pittsburgh and uh, a lot of people there including a Tom Savini being one a makeup effects artist that was in Dawn of the Dead and uh, is in the, like the final sketch in this movie uh, as a uh, he's, he plays like a trash man um, you know picking up trash at the end of the movie uh, it's um, just to mention some, just a, it has a huge cast with, with so many sketches in it, uh, but just to point out a few, uh, uh, Hal Halbrick, um, had Adrian Barbeau, she was in The Fog and Escape from New York, uh, Leslie Nielsen, you know, from Airplane and Naked Gun, the Naked Gun franchise, uh, E.G. Marsh, E.G. Marshall, he, if you remember one of the grandfathers in, uh, Christmas Vacation. He's in the last sketch, final sketch in this movie. Uh, it had uh, Tom Atkins, if you, if you saw The Fog and Halloween 3. He was from Pittsburgh, so he, you know, obviously he knew George Romero fairly well, and so he, he uh, liked, um, liked working with him quite a bit. Uh, it has uh, Ed Harris, everybody knows him, and he's been in quite a few movies. Uh, uh, Galen Ross, uh, she was in Dawn of the Dead, and she's from, uh, she's in this, in this uh, and uh, she was from, she's from Indianapolis, she's still alive. But, as a uh, Ted Danson, if you remember Cheers and Three Men and a Baby, um, he's been on countless NBC TV shows. Uh, it has a uh, has a commentary with uh, George Romero and Tom uh, Savini, uh, along with uh, two other commentaries. And uh, it has one called uh, Terror and Three Rivers, uh, uh, done by. Uh, Sean Clark, he uh, interviews uh, Tom Atkins and they kind of show some of the, the sets, some of the houses that they use in the movie and just how they've changed since since the movie was released. Um, it has uh, a round table with Tom Savini and um, some of the actors and people that worked uh, in the movie, it worked you know, behind the scenes in the movie. Um, it has like nine other special features, deleted scenes, um, and this also has a, a really nice booklet that comes with it. Quite a few pictures here. You know, it's uh, just really interesting to, to just to read about uh, George Romero and some of the other movies he, he was in. Tell, you know, Tales from the, Tales from the Crypt, um, Night Riders, another movie he did. Cool movie, movie post, posters in there. This is a uh, Joe King. Stephen King's son, you know, quite a few photos. This is a, a sketch with uh, Stephen King, Leslie Nielsen, Ted, Ted Danson. Uh, this is a uh, Ted Danson and Galen Ross. Just a lot of cool scenes that are in this movie that are like so memorable. E.G. Marshall, like I said, Christmas Vacation. Here's a photo of uh, George Romero and Stephen King. It's just great to watch, just look at stuff like this and just taken way back then. Creep show cover. No Two Evil Eyes is another George Romero movie. Creep show. Poster. And this is really cool. At the end, see a picture of George Romero, Tom Savini, and Stephen King.
So this is a kind of expensive, you know, shop factory, screen factory, or you know, not cheap, but well worth every every penny. You know, this is the back cover of it. Um, I think if you go on Amazon, you can probably I don't know, you can find it for about twenty five dollars or so. But I think it's really worth it. Here's a here's the box. You know, this is a this is like a slip cover. Really hard, hard bound box there, but this is a, the Blu ray box. Just uh, this is the Blu ray there. And it actually has a reversible cover. This is a, like the original poster. And this is like the, well, this is like, this is the, the other original. I had this on DVD before, it had this cover on it. Um, but I guess this is my, this, this is a, just an alternate cover. So uh, I want to talk about this uh, just because the next one I do is going to be Creepshow 2. And this is actually an Arrow video, so. But um, if you're a fan of Creepshow, you know, I, I had this on, like I said, DVD before, and it was like a no, it, it had some special features on it, but, it, you know, obviously the picture quality wasn't good. This is taken, like I said, from a 4K scan, so you're getting top quality. So I really recommend it if you're a fan of George Romero, Stephen King, who, I mean, who isn't really, a, if you're a horror fan, you know, you got to be a fan of those, those two, but I'd really recommend it. So, um, please uh, consider subscribing if you, if you like my content and, uh, tomorrow night I'm going to come back and do a Shang-Chi, um, kind of quick review and I'm going to see that tomorrow night and I'll also see it again on Saturday. So I already have the tickets for it. Um, so I'll be back tomorrow night, but, um, please like, uh, Please like the video if you like it. Thank you. Bye.